Hadington, Alex here with a how-to video on getting the best out of LinkedIn. And a lot of what I talk to is around the network and the network effect. This is where things start to come to life. There are a billion people on this platform now, so we all have access to the most up-to-date CRM system on the planet. And whilst, yes, we need to manage and curate and maintain our first-degree networks, it's the second degree networks where we can start to find those uh, hidden allies, those hidden referrals to help us unlock a business uh, conversation. So how do we start to understand our network effect or our network of influence? It's pretty straightforward. So if you want to follow along, and this is on free LinkedIn, this isn't premium LinkedIn that I'm doing this uh, to. So come into the search bar and then just start typing in general counsel or whatever job title you market to. It could be debt capital finance, could be litigation finance, IP counsel, could be managing director within a bank. I'm doing general counsel. Then we click on people. And from here, we can start to use our different uh, filters. So if I click on all filters here, and then I'm going to go first degree to start with because I want to manage my own uh, network. And then maybe I want to think about where are my alumni within my network? Where are people that I used to work with and where have they gone to? So if I come down to past company and I'm just going to click maybe Alan Overy because it's here. If you want to add the company in the firm that you work at, obviously click add company. But let's just click Alan Overy because there we are. Click show results. And then we can see that I have 31 people that have uh, turned up in my search where they used to work at Alan Overy at some point in their careers and now they are general counsel they've got general counsel somewhere in their uh, in their profile so this might give me if i'm a alan overy uh, lawyer of course ano sherman now um, the opportunity to start 31 conversations with people within my uh, own network that i haven't spoken to in uh, in a while we can also use this to uh, search your existing uh, client base so if i go back to all filters and if I uh, take out Alan Overy, and let's imagine that you act for um, a bank. So let's say you act for HSBC. So I'm gonna type in uh, ad company, and I'm gonna put in HSBC. But again, this could be whatever organization that you want to do. Click show results. And then what we have here within my network, people with general counsel in their profile who are former HSBC folk. So again, five potential conversations with people who I'm already connected to where there might be a warm introduction either through your existing client relationship uh, route or you can use the fact that, hey, we're already connected and we're working with HSBC, used to work with HSBC, let's have a, a conversation. So start to think about how you can mine your uh, existing network and just start up a conversation with somebody maybe you haven't spoken to in a, a while. Come back to all filters, and then we're gonna to start to look at a uh, second degree. So untick first. Then what I want to do is I want to go, okay, let's focus on the United Kingdom. I'm going to take out HSBC, and let's look at this from a sector or an industry perspective. So I'm gonna focus on the financial services. You can add industry here, TMT, oil and gas, shipping, but let's just pick FS because it's there within the UK. Click show results. So now what we're looking at is general counsel in the financial services sector who I'm not connected to, but there is a second degree connection. So what this means is there is someone within my network who could facilitate an introduction. So if I was to get to Stephanie, for example, at general counsel Metro Bank, I've got 33 mutual connections where I can use that as a warm introduction. So this number here, 977, in theory, this means I could potentially have 977 warm introductions to GCs in the financial services space based in the United Kingdom. This then comes back to the point of, are you using LinkedIn as a CRM system versus just managing your contact address book? We come back to all filters, and then we can play around, of course, with um, geography. So if I take out United States, United Kingdom, I can put in United States, and let's change uh, an industry, and let's do the TMT space, click show results. And within the TMT space, 912 GCs based in the US, this in the technology space. So again, 912 potential warm introductions. 
This is therefore why it's critical that as an organization, you connect internally with your colleagues. The more connected you become internally with your colleagues, uh, the more you are accessing this referral route. And of course, it also becomes critical that you connect with um, anybody you have a business related conversation with, because this can start to help unlock the uh, network of um, influence. Another consideration is what this 912 also means is that um, every time you like, comment or post, you're creating a reaction within your network. So visualize you're throwing a pebble into a pond and you're creating ripples through your network. So that's what we want to be doing. So this 912 here for me, this is my network of influence for general counsel within the technology space within the US. So if I'm working for a law firm or professional service firm and I post a piece of research or a piece of content that might say something along the lines of, our latest research shows the top three challenges faced by general counsel in the technology space in the US are ABC, my first three network engages, I can potentially draw towards me through that ripple, through that, that second ring in the ripple, if you will, 912 people who are only one degree of separation away from me. So this then is the network of influence that we want to uh, think about. So have a play around with the uh, the keywords up here, have a play around with the, the filters, mining first degree, second degree, uh, think about locations, uh, past company in terms of alumni, past company in terms of um, existing client base where people have gone on to. You, of course, can look at where maybe people studied at the same law school as uh, you or did MBAs, etc. And then you are likely to be much closer to that next business conversation than you necessarily realize, just purely from a um, warm introduction. Hope you found this helpful. And as always, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in and listening.